Scoop, 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 scoop. Boom. New stuff. New things. Let's get to it. because it's cheap. This is the Mass Drop, or Drop, Vast 35 inch gaming monitor. It is 3440 by 1440 at 100 hertz. I don't know if you can overclock it, but I'm gonna try. Okay, first things first, because on the last video, if you watched that, the Biotech video, um, I was laughing pretty long and hard about the stand because it was <laughs> it was a bad stand. It was just kind of comically terrible. A lot, a lot better. Um, so in this top area portion thingy dingy here, you've got the base of your stand, which already feels heavier. Um, it's metal actually. Um, and, and framing in the bottom, top is plastic. Doesn't look too bad. I like the uh, brushed aluminum look here, even though that's plastic. It's still a nice, nice clean look. Good old DP cable, huzzah, huzzah. Power cable, of course. They give you a little uh, screwdriver there and the five screws you'll need to attach the base. I'm guessing it's four screws and an extra. And, ooh, that's staticky. The monitor is actually already attached to the stand itself. Um, I wonder if that's just for shipping efficiency or, or what. Uh, this is Vesa 7575 compatible and it is going to be mounted on a Vesa mount. So. curved. I don't think mine's this curved. Mine has an 1800R. I'll have to look at what the curve is uh, on this because that is aggressive. I don't like it. Wrap around. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. First things first, the most important part of the whole thing is the pupil. So on the back here, you will find a very nice and tactile um, directional button. So none of those which key am I pressing shenanigans, which is crazy, crazy nice because I, I, I hate that about my um, Acer. So this, this is a nice feature. I have heard that this menu is a little meh, but we'll check that out once we have it actually turned on and booted up. On the side here, wow, the sticky feet are very sticky. For our side here, we're looking at one um, 3.5 millimeter audio out, one DP, and three HDMI. Got a nice little uh, cable route down here, to the bottom there. Most of mine route down through the desk, so that will actually be handy. Beautiful. So. As for stand actuation, what do we have here? We have got rotation, but it isn't tall enough to actually rotate. Like what? Okay. 
So technically, yes, it is. Um, you can do a 90 degree rotation on it, but not while it's sitting on the stand. You actually have to, oh wait, wait. Okay, so if you lean it all the way back and then rotate it, then you can, then you can rotate it without uh, having to worry too much about it hitting anything. So that's nifty. We have got, of course, tilt. Um, not a whole bunch, but really, you don't really need more than that. That's actually not bad. Um, and then it's obviously got altitude adjustments here, and that is spring-loaded. So it really, really wants to come to the top. I can do this with one finger, just kind of all the way to the top, just like that. And uh, it's not so spring-loaded. Like some of the old Dell monitors drove me nuts because they were so spring-loaded that you would unlock them and they just shoot up. Not so with this. It's heavy enough that it's staying at the bottom. If you want to stay at the bottom, it'll stay in any position that you put it in without any effort at all, which is fantastic. So I'm going to go through the trouble of actually replacing this. Okay, so due to the fact that Winter Night is actually like wired into my desk, the power button is actually wired into my desk. I'm not gonna move it. I'm not even gonna try to move it. I don't feel like dealing with all that, all the shenanigans right now. So I'm gonna put the vast kind of off to the left like I did with the Viotech, and that'll actually allow me to directly compare the IPS to the VA, and we could try out a couple games and see what things look like. Okay, so first off, I sincerely apologize for how cluttered this shot is. It's just, the office is cluttered, and uh, I love you guys, and I try to clean it up for you. It kind of worked. Let's turn this bad boy on for the first time ever. Where is that? There it is. And... And... that that is a directional cable neither side is labeled so maybe maybe look at that um so i've been messing around with the menu on this guy a little bit uh, before i'm actually gonna run doom on it and it's not as bad as i heard that it was it's not my favorite thing i've ever used but it's not terrible my biggest complaint is the fact that um it is also the power button so my natural impulse is to just click it when i want to select something and that turns the monitor off so that's kind of annoying, but if you press up, then it turns on a little cheaty crosshair. And shame on you if you're using the little cheaty crosshair. Um, if you go to the left, then it actually brings up your menu on um, your different display inputs. And to the right is going to select which one you want to use. Uh, if you go down, you're going to get the mode change. So the standard FPS, RTS, and... Uh, standard once again so I'm gonna leave it on standard for now if you go to the right that's when you get the full-fledged everything menu okay so it's not DP 1.4 it's 1.2 um, and you can select 1.3 see so yeah, I turned it off because I clicked okay so there doesn't appear to be anywhere that I can actually overclock on-screen display multi-window. Um, there is a picture-in-picture. -picture. Uh, this has that as well. It's pretty nice if you um, if you do plug in multiple inputs then you can you can select how the screen gets cut up between those multiple inputs so you can run multiple machines off it at the same time which is uh, it's, it's pretty cool. So yeah there's that. Let's, uh, let's do a doom run on it and see how it performs. So let's see. My main concern here is ghosting. I'm seeing a bit. If you look at the edge of this rock here as I move, you get a red blur on it. I don't love that. I mean, it still feels as smooth as butter, so that's nice. Um, no. There we go. 
That's what I wanted. For those of you who think uh, video games are immoral, I'm killing demons here. This this here's the Lord's work. So, you know, you're welcome. Yeah, I... I don't mind the bit of ghosting that I am noticing. It's not the worst in the world. It's not distracting or anything like that. And... This is about the most fast-paced that my shooters get. A little bit more uh, depth on the color is pretty nice. I like the I like the extra contrast. Yeah, that was a lot better. That was a lot better run. Boom. So I am only going to be testing FPS games on this monitor right now because really, if I'm playing like. Um, what are you doing, Psycho? So I'm gonna like jump into some CSGO real quick, and then I'm gonna do a scav run on Escape from Tarkov, just because that is mainly the first person shooter that I am playing, and it's gotta look good. It's gotta be clear, and it can't be really bad for ghosting. No one will ever suspect me coming over here. And where is everybody? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. That was a bot. I got killed by a bot. I have planted the boom. Super, super responsive. Like, really, really responsive. It's very nice. Eat lots of bullets, mister. <laughs> Gotta put more bullets in the, in the bullet hose. Yeah, I am very, very happy with the clarity here. Not bad at all. If you don't know what Escape from Tarkov is, it's, um, it's an evil game that's punishing and rude, and it makes me angry, but I keep coming back for more. I save money well spent, like, so far, even if it, even if I don't end up using it and Brianna does, I still save money well spent. So response-wise, it doesn't feel any different than the IPS. I know the IPS is a little bit slower, um, on actual refresh rate, but response time is the same between both, and I can tell because it, it feels the same between both. I don't see any, any difference. Not that I would be able to perceive a, a you know, two millisecond difference anyway, but as far as, uh, as far as my perception goes, it feels exactly the same, which is good. Why am I getting no sound? Because the sound is trying to come through here. Oh, does this not have speakers? Oh, this doesn't have speakers at all. Oh, all right. Okay, so there's a drawback. I didn't actually realize that. But I don't really care that much about sound right now. That's what I care about. What's that? What do my edges look like? See, they've really improved it as of late. God, that looks good. I mean, response is, is pretty great. Doesn't, doesn't feel all hello. Oh, what are you kids doing back there? Like, I mean, I know resolution is resolution, um, and they're they're identical in resolution, but uh, is it gonna hurt me more? No, it didn't hurt me more. That's nice. Um, but yeah, I'm not noticing any ghosting issues, or there's this weird like refresh issue that'll happen on far away dark objects. Oh, okay, here's the firefight that was happening. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's actually not a bad pistol. Oh shit! Oh, gotta lose it. Gotta lose the pistol. Gotta lose my pistol. Yeah, I have zero complaints about that whatsoever. Sweet. Good stuff, guys. I was a little scared there at first when I couldn't get the, uh, the resolution working and all I had to do was reverse the cable. So that's cool. That should be something that they label on the cable, 
leave it on the cable. But uh, eh, it is what it is. It's a four hundred dollar monitor. I'm not I'm not that eager to complain uh, about small things like that. The stand is nice and solid, and it looks it looks really nice. Even though the top piece is plastic, it is a steel frame, so that's nice. Um, and it's got this nice brushed aluminum look. I like the thin bezels all the way around. Um, the picture is very, very nice. The VA panel is very, very nice. Uh, I like the menus. They're a little annoying with that click being the on off, but that's something you could get used to. I'm just, my Acer has the underneath like four or five buttons. You have to figure out which one's which and it's terrible. They're not labeled, it's just bad. So this is actually a nice upgrade from that. Uh, yeah, I really don't have many complaints about it. I'm pretty happy with it, for especially for the price. Yeah, so those are my final thoughts on this thing. Thus far, first impressions are very, very good. Everything feels solid, everything feels well built and well thought out. Um, the lack of speakers is kind of a bummer. I didn't realize they weren't on there. It's not the end of the world. And the lack of a USB hub is kind of a bummer as well. I did know that that wasn't here, and it's not the end of the world does have three HDMI in and you can do multi-picture PIP which is really cool so you can split it up between multiple inputs so yeah for the price for the 400 bucks I spent on it I am very happy with it uh, especially since I did spend 650 on that Acer last year um, and the updated version updated model of that Acer uh, is I think 550 now so that would even you know st it would still be a more expensive and it's still free sync and it's still a 34 inch 1440 so for what it is for the VA panel and not the IPS panel for something without speakers and without a USB hub I would pay 400 bucks for it new no, it's very nice I like it a lot thumbs up for this one For you to tap. If you didn't like it, you can hit the thumbs down, but if you do hit the thumbs down, shoot me a comment and let me know what I can improve upon. If you do like this content on a regular basis, hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it's going to let you know when I post a new video. How did you get my toothbrush, son? That was on the sink. How'd you get that? Kids these days. I plan on doing a one month follow up for this particular product as well as that biotech that's I'm probably past one month for the biotech now, but uh, we will get there. Son, please don't give my toothbrush to the dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, I some people, it's children. Yeah? The links for the products are in the description below. Thank you very much for joining me. I will see you in the next one. Peace.